Hello, my name is Emily Vallely and this is my kitchen. This apartment was built in 1937. Pretty much everything in the kitchen is original except for the flooring and the appliances. So there's still the original tile, cabinetry, and even some of the lighting fixtures. My boyfriend Brandon and I moved into this apartment two years ago and ever since then I have made it my mission to decorate and really restore the apartment to what it could have looked like throughout the years. So I don't stick to any one particular era when decorating. I really like to incorporate a lot of different styles and years and stuff. So everything from the 20s even through the 80s and 90s I try to incorporate all of that and create my own unique look. My mom and I have a booth at a local antique mall called Magnolia and Willow, so I spend a lot of time shopping for vintage stuff and going to estate sales, so I'm constantly adding new stuff to my home and changing things out. Decorating is one of my biggest passions in life and having so much vintage stuff in my home really makes me feel connected to the past. All right, let's take a look at some of my favorite finds in my kitchen. I got this spice rack at an estate sale a few months before moving into this apartment and I held on to it knowing that I wanted it to be in the kitchen because it is the perfect size for Trader Joe's spices, which is pretty much all I buy. And then I have some of my essential oils on the top that I use regularly. Above the oven, I have some really cute art. My favorite one is this cross stitch. It says, no matter where I serve my guests, it seems they like my kitchen best. However, that's not true. When people come to my apartment, we rarely just stand in the kitchen because it's so tight in here. On this wall, I have some vintage pie tins. My favorite one is this one because it's from Polly's Pies, which is a local Long Beach, Orange County restaurant. And when my mom was pregnant with my sister Lucy, we went there all the time. It was what she craved every day. So it really reminds me of happy times. Um, looking forward to having a sister. Brandon is from Dallas, Texas, and he also has a lot of family in Des Moines, Iowa, so I've been lucky enough to do a lot of antiquing in both of those states. One of my favorite finds from Texas is this 1970s canister set. It is adorable and it matches the Pyrex that I collect, which is the spring blossom print, and I just adore these. These are one of my favorite things. Instead of using traditional curtains on the windows, I copied my friend Ashley, also known as Milk Teeth's Vintage on Instagram, and I use vintage tablecloths. I think it is the cutest idea ever, and I'm obsessed with it. When we first moved in, there was some really ugly metal hardware on all of the cabinets, so I switched it out to this really beautiful jadeite color, and I feel like it matches the style of the home so much more. For Christmas a couple years ago, my mom got me this super cute McCoy cookie jar and I actually keep my cat treats in there. I recently got this poodle toaster cover off of eBay. I have a lot of poodle things in my bathroom but not so much in my kitchen so it was fun to bring in this kitschy 50s poodle vibe in here. When I first moved into this apartment, my neighbor and one of my best friends, Tia Emmerich, made me this adorable vegan cross stitch as a housewarming gift. One of my favorite things in the kitchen is this parrot calendar because it's from the year 1930, which is crazy because it's even older than this apartment. And I just love the colors so much. It's so beautiful. I got this United States flower map at a flea market in Texas, and something I love about this, and most people would probably never know this, but all of the purple flowers aren't painted because the person painting it must have ran out of purple paint or something, and I just think it's so funny, but I love that piece so much.
My boyfriend Brandon is a drummer and last year he opened up for the Misfits with Suicidal Tendencies. So we got this really cool limited edition poster from that show. I think it's really cool that this piece adds more of an eclectic vibe to the kitchen and kind of breaks up all of the vintage with some more personal items. This print above my fridge is from the PC Press in Des Moines, Iowa, and I immediately fell in love when I saw this because this quote really spoke to me. It says, we have a strategic plan, it's called doing things. And I feel like that is just my business motto. If you wanna do something, you just start doing it. You don't have to have a plan. You don't have to have a bunch of money. You can just start doing anything, any day. Now we are in my favorite room in my entire apartment, the kitchen nook. Upon moving in, I was on the hunt for a Formica kitchen table and I got the kitchen table of my dreams, let me tell you. I have a blog called The Vintage Vegans where my mom and my sister and I share vegan recipes and style and all sorts of stuff. But anyways, the background of our website is this boomerang pattern and I was so excited when I found a table in that pattern. One of my favorite pieces of art in my entire apartment is this print by Leslie Ann Numbers and it is from Dolly Parton's most famous song, 9 to 5. It's impossible not to be in a good mood after seeing this every morning and it just gets me in a really high energy vibe. Deer are one of my most favorite animals, so I have developed a huge collection of mid-century deer figurines and art and I kind of keep it contained all in this nook in these corner cabinets. I just think they're so cute and it makes me so happy every time I walk into this room and see all their little faces. One of the selling points for this apartment was definitely these corner cabinets. I fell in love when I first walked into this kitchen and I knew it had to be mine and I just envisioned everything I wanted to do with it. But it's just so cool that I have a canvas to display some of my favorite things. I have a few different Pyrex collections, but one of my favorites is the Spring Blossom Green Pyrex, and I have a huge collection of that in this room, and I love the way it goes with the deer. I feel like it has kind of a woodland, outdoorsy theme. I found this kitchen cart on OfferUp for, I think, $15, and it was in a really boring beige color when I got it, but my mom painted it for me, and now it's this really cute jadeite green that matches all the hardware in the room. When Brandon and I first started dating, I got him this as a gift. It's so hilarious. It's a map of the United States as Californians see it. So when he first moved here, being from Texas, he thought that everyone from California just thought that they were the most important in the entire country and like always made jokes about stuff like that. And when I saw this, I immediately thought of him because it shows California really big and then the rest it says unexplored, unimportant anyways, not in California. <laughs> Another one of my mini vintage collections are these travel pennants. They remind me of places I've traveled to or just visited, such as the Queen Mary and Knott's Berry Farm in Disneyland. But one of my favorites is this one, and it is of Catalina Island. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe, and please comment down below what room you'd like to see next.